Hello everyone, so we are from group 10, we'll explain about magnetic abrasive machining. In group 10, there are me, Ivana, and also my other teammates, Window and Media Sari. There are several things that will be discussed in this presentation. The first one is the definition and history of magnetic abrasive machining, and also its purpose, types, how it works, advantages and disadvantages, and also applications or products. So, what is magnetic abrasive machining? Magnetic abrasive machining, or usually called MEM, is a machining technique in which a group of abrasive particles or cutting tools are accurately directed to the target using a magnetic field, where the cutting force is controlled by the magnetic field in the work gap. The history of MEM is MEM was originally implemented by several manufacturing companies in the United States back in 1930. A decade later, in 1940, MEM first patent was filled with the United States Post and Trademark Office or USPTO. In the following years after it was patent, other manufacturing company outside United States like Soviet Union, Germany, and Poland start to use MEM. Then, finally, in 1980, MEM became a well-known and frequently used for finishing process in the manufacturing industry all around the world. So, the purpose of MEM. According to polymac.au, the purpose of MEM are to polish surfaces before coating, clean up surfaces before welding, and also polish contacting bodies. MEM is highly recommended for preliminary and finishing polishing of ferromagnetic and diamagnetic materials like steel and alloys, glass, ceramics, monocrystal, and polycrystal. And now, let's talk about the type of magnetic abrasive machining. Based on the magnetic field that uses in this process, there are three types of magnetic abrasive machining uh, of the finishing process. For the first one, magnetic abrasive finishing with permanent magnet. Second one is magnetic abrasive finishing with direct current. And, this, and the third one, or the last one, magnetic abrasive finishing with alternating current. And now, let's take a look on the detail of the, each of the type. For the first one, magnetic abrasive finishing with permanent magnet. Uh, in this magnetic abrasive finishing with permanent magnet, the work pieces is kept between the two poles of a magnet. The working gap between the work piece and the magnet is filled with magnetic abrasive particles. Then, a magnetic abrasive flexible brush or MAFB is formed and acting as a multi multi point cutting tool. And then, this multi-point cutting tool will do the process or, or finish the process of the finishing surface. The second one is magnetic abrasive finishing with direct current. Uh, this, uh, this process uses a DC as a source for, cre for creating particle uh, north and north north and south poles. These particles then join each other along the lines of magnetic force due to the dipole-dipole interaction and form a flexible magnetic abrasive brush or FMAB which pushes against the work piece surface and develop finishing pressures. These finishing pressures, uh, pressures originate micro identation in the work piece surface and this uh, this micro uh, indentation in the workpiece surface will finish uh, will finish the finishing process and will finish uh, the the working surface. The last one uh, is magnetic abrasive finishing with alternating current. Uh, just like the two uh, the two previous uh, process, uh, it is basically you. Uh, it is basically the same, but it is using alternating current as the magnetic field. So, to run the process, the rotating magnetic field 
obtained by electrifying three coils arranged in the direction at intervals of 120 degrees with three phase AC current for internal finish cylindrical work pieces. After we talk about the type, and now uh, let's talk about how it works. How magnetic abrasive finishing works. Unlike other finishing process, magnetic uh, abrasive finishing does not spray particular matter onto the workpiece or object. Instead, it uses magnetism. To perform this process, manufacturing company usually use a mixtures of magnet magnetic particles and abrasive powder particles. A magnetic field is then applied which forces the combined particles onto the workpiece or object. Or you can think that the magnetic abrasive finishing is a form of powder coating that uses a magnetic field. Uh, most magnetic abrasive finishing application using either an electromagnet or rare earth permanent magnet as the source for the magnetic field. Uh, it is better to use uh, electromagnetic because the strength of the magnetic field can be adjusted, while the earth, uh, the rare, the rare earth permanent magnetic cannot be adjusted. Okay, so right now I would like to talk about the advantages and disadvantages of this machining process. So first, advantages. This magnetic abrasive machining is capable of achieving roughness value ranging from 0 0.3, 0 0.3 micrometer to 20 to nanometer. What it looks like, it can be seen from this peak. We took it from Fico company. You can see, this is before and after. The first is direct magnetic field and the second alternating magnetic field. You can see from the right side, it is the result, it produces a consistent green fail, green color, which means it is already flat surface and or, or uh, having a good surface. Second, it enhances surface characteristics such as reliability on reducing friction, capabilization of hard to reach areas. Setup is independent of workpiece material. It can efficiently finish ceramics, stainless steel, fluid carbide, and silicon and brass, etc. Self adaptability and controllability, and can finish ferromagnetic material as well as non ferromagnetic. The disadvantages it is difficult to implement magnetic abrasive finishing process for mass production because it is time consuming, high cost and not applicable for some ordinary finishing tests where conventional finishing technique can be easily implemented. Okay, next applications. So, this machining process can be useful for produce such as non ferromagnetic material such as aluminum, such as stainless steel, brass and aluminum, ferromagnetic material such as steels, Finishing of bearings, aerospace component, electronic component with micro or sub meter range. You can see the picture on the right side. The slide. We took it from Veda Group of Company, one of the manufacturing company that from US. Next references. And thank you. So we hope that this presentation this presentation is useful for you. Yes, thank you.